this is Norwich up and welcome to a Ultimate Team of Player Review. And today we've got a very special player. We have got Zatan Ibrahimovic and he plays for PSG in the French League. He is Swedish as well. They you can have a look at his card face stats here. 77 pace, 88 shooting, 77 passing, 87 dribbling and 78 heading. His prices on the Xbox is around 600k. I, um, well my friend actually played 522k so his price has increased a tiny bit. His PlayStation 3 price is around 673k and on the PC you're going to be looking to play around 2 million. So the reason why he is so expensive for only an 88 overall weighted player is because of that overhead kick he scored against England. His prize rocketed around 200k. I think he was around 300, 400k before that goal and also his card weight is pretty low as well so he isn't in packs too much and that's why his price is around that 600k mark on both consoles so his key in-game stats i picked out um that 92 shot power the 85 long shots the 91 strength as well but here you can see all of his in-game stats is that first star skills in the four star weak foot a medium attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate and that does mean that he has an interesting way of playing he isn't always in the right place at the right time but if you slow down your passing play you wait to find him he will play so well for you and here you can see example he isn't always up there at the last man he drops back a bit but when you give him the ball and you can do stuff like that he is just deadly so we're now going to talk about his in-game stats. We'll firstly talk about his pace. On the card, it says 77 pace, but I felt, I felt um, it was like 80 to 82. He has 80 agility, 74 acceleration, 79 sprint speed, and 78 stamina. But I did really feel he was a lot more than 77 pace, but probably because he has that 91 strength and the 84 aggression. So he will definitely hold off defenders and midfielders. And uh, he is so good at actually just like, sprinting away from players. But you don't always need to. You can do some great dribbling work. And talking about dribbling... He has uh, 92 ball control and 88 dribbling. That is just unbelievable. He also has that 5-star skills, which is an added bonus for all strikers. So he's really, really good and easy to do skill moves with. And he can often just save games for me. You can just give him the ball and he can just get shots from anywhere. But you can see he can finesse it. And he has 90 finishing in-game and 91 penalties, 92 shot power, 85 long shots and 89 volleys. So that 90 finishing means that he can do amazing finesse shots. In FIFA 13, you're not really known for doing loads of finesse shots but I just felt that Ibra can finesse on each foot and there you can see a nice little chip over the keeper but his four star weak foot I felt that that was just as good as his um, right foot his left foot was still really really good there you can see a nice um, outside of the foot into that top left hand corner amazing goal there from Ibrahimovic and with that 92 shot power combined with the 85 long shots is so good he does have a long shot trait as well which means that the ball will be dipping all around and go hopefully into those top corners so we're talking about now about kind of a, like his free kicks he has a power free kick trait as well the 92 shot power the 80 curve which is pretty decent and overall 79 free kicks isn't too bad I did come quite close to scoring some free kicks but I'm sure that his informed card if you guys are looking to get his informed card they will be a lot better um, at free kicks so his passing now he has 72 long passing in game and 86 short passing along with 84 vision so that's actually pretty good for a striker and I do recommend playing with uh, another striker just so you can offload the ball or you can get the ball the look up take a touch and then just finesse that a nice little roulette from Ibra and he just easily finesses that and again a nice finesse shot I think most of the goals are actually finesse shots just because it was so easy to do easy and over the top through ball and a nice little chip there I scored a chip where he just dinked it but that was actually like on the volley a great chip there and as I said about his passing that 86 short passing is so good just to play it in to um, Ibra he can play it back to a 1-2 over top through ball that's what I was mainly doing with Balotelli and he was just so good from that kind of passing and um, we'll go on to his work rate as I said before he has a medium attacking work rate low defensive work rate and as I said it's a bit different to most strikers most strikers have like the high and low but you do need to adapt your play style play a bit slower but he uh, never leaves the opponent's half so once you are looking for the ball he will just slowly get up to the pitch and you will definitely find him he can see he's not on the last man but when you can do simple skill moves like the fake shot that's not really a skill move but just simple in-game moves he can just be so good he can see he picks up the ball takes it back on a finesse shot pretty far out as well but gets past um, I think that was Pepe Reina in the net so he can definitely finesse it from all angles and we'll talk finally about his heading so he's six foot four so he's very very tall and 
very very high up than most defenders who are around six foot so i didn't really feel that like i needed to jump he does have 72 jumping which isn't too bad actually in game but that 74 heading he scored a lot of headed goals for me i did score some pretty sweaty headers which i didn't want to include but he can see probably the best goal or one of the best goals i scored straight from kickoff he just gets there's a few skill moves there this guy actually rage quits from that ibrahimovic goal so that just shows shows um how amazing he can be and he can actually make people rage quit he can see Thiago Silva puts an amazing ball into Ibrahimovic he takes a few touches and unleashes a rocket of a long shot there on his right foot an amazing ball from Thiago Silva firstly but just a few touches I probably could have gone all the way there and just got a normal goal but he can do amazing things like that and that can see 4-1 to me Ibra with the uh, very late goal as well so that is all of his in-game stats covered we'll now go and talk about his overall play review so his pros they'll come up on the screen right now as you can see he's very very strong as I said that 91 strength and the 84 aggression will mean that he'll hold defenders off he has amazing shot you can finesse it you can just do a normal power shot amazing the great dribbling as well five star skills added as well should be another pro because that great dribbling the ball control just so good and decent headings well because he is so tall he can definitely defend so sorry head even um very very well his cons, he is quite expensive, as I said, around 600k. If he was a tiny bit faster, even though he does feel a bit more faster than 77 pace, but if he was a tiny bit faster, then that would be perfect. And if he was maybe in, um, like, the Serie A or the League BVA or the Barclays Premier League, then that would be just the ultimate player. But I'm not going to complain. He is still amazing. Thank you for watching, guys. If you could get this to 10 likes, that would be amazing. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Norwich Up, and I'll be tweeting out all loads of stuff as well. But thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this, and as I said, leave a like, and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.